Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's super late right now. Steve actually just got home from work. It's like 12.30 in the morning. But we have to film this now while the girls are asleep so that we can show you what our house looks like when it's actually clean. Because if they were awake, it would just probably be a disaster. Um, now we're, we're sitting down at the beginning of this video because we're just going to do a quick story time. I know you guys really pretty much know why exactly we got the entire downstairs redone. Um, but there are obviously details I left out, so I'm just going to start at the beginning and kind of explain real quick what we did, why we did it, and where we're at right now. And then I will show you guys what our house looks like now. I'm just Before going any further, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Eris for sponsoring today's video, and thank you so much for helping us keep our home clear of any more mold. Now I know you guys have seen bits and pieces of the house already because there's just no way to avoid it. I share my life every day on Instagram and I've already filmed YouTube videos in the house, but I'll show just really exactly what we did and you'll see a little bit more of what we have done. Oh, just to start at the beginning, I guess, this has been going on for two months now. It all started because Steve and I, we wanted to get our kitchen redone. That was the goal. But if we're being totally honest, we just didn't know if we could afford it because getting your kitchen redone is very expensive. So we were thinking, well, maybe we'll just have the countertops re replaced because the countertops were in bad condition. There were um, like heat stains all over them, like when you put a hot pan on a countertop. They were, it was a laminate, old laminate. Yeah, old laminate. They were just bad, they were chipping. So we, we just had a contractor come just to, just to give us a quote for countertops. So he came in and he said, really, you shouldn't do that because the, the cabinets are also really old too. So if you're going to redo the cabinets, you might as well do the counter, or if you're going to do the countertops, you might as well do the cabinets too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So the contractor opened up the cabinets underneath the sink and he quickly realized that there was water damage underneath the sink. We had no idea. Our house was inspected when we moved in just a year and a half ago and nothing was found, which really... It, uh, it upsets me if I let myself think about it because there's no way that it, we had as much mold as we had and nobody knew about it. Um, so he suggested that we call our, ins our insurance company. We were a little bit worried about doing that at first because because <laughs> sometimes even opening up that can of worms can open up like a whole other mess of problems. But we did end up calling our insurance company. We had an adjuster come out and as soon as she opened up the door, she said that she could smell mold in our house. Yeah, as soon as she walked in, she knew right away. Yeah, we had no idea. I'm trying, I wanna get, I know that I'm already taking a long time to tell this story. So long story short, she did say we have water damage. It was underneath the sink. And basically how it works is if you have water damage in the cabinets, then you have to remove the countertop because if you're removing the cabinets, you have to remove those. And if you're removing the cabinets, the floor will be ruined. So they have to remove all the flooring. So it all within like a week, we had mold removal people coming in. It just escalated very fast. It we did. Just going to get our countertops done. And then all of a sudden we were doing an entire kitchen. Right. So which we were excited about. However, we had no idea the amount of mold that we had. So we were under the impression that the mold was pretty much around the sink. We thought it was probably on the drywall behind the sink, but as they started taking more out, it was just, it was everywhere. It spread everywhere, all through the everywhere. floors and the drywall, it from was, the kitchen to the living room. It, so, because they were finding more and more mold, it was taking longer and longer, which we we understood. I mean, it was frustrating. We're not complaining well, because we're so we're, grateful it was gone. Plus, we're dealing with insurance back and forth. Yeah, so like it has to be everything. So once the mold people found more mold, then they would have to ask the insurance company, are we allowed to remove this? Mm -hmm. So, and then we were dealing with Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year. So they had entire weeks off at a time. So that's why it really took so long was because it's just a process when you're dealing with multiple people and holidays. Looking back now, was it worth it? 100% it was worth it. It feels so fresh in here now. It feels, it just feels so good. It feels like such a nice space. And it, we have worked so hard to like get to this point. So it just feels really good to have a nice space. So I just wanted to pretty much give you guys like the background on 
why we had to do all this before because we really just moved in a year and a half ago. We gave our kitchen a facelift as soon as we moved in and we thought that would probably buy us a couple of years and it was fine. What we did was fine. Yeah, I, but I thought that last us at least another three, three to five years. Me too, but it just, with the mold obviously you can't chance it. So I'm thankful that it's out. In the meantime, we were, we, aside from getting the work done on the inside, we also had some work done outside because the mold was so bad because we actually had more issues than we thought it wasn't just from the sink. We actually also had stucco cracking on the outside of our house and we had no idea. So actually we got our floors ripped up and it was the day they were coming to put the new floors in. Was it the day they were coming to put the new floors in? The day before? Mm -hmm. We, it had rained, we come downstairs and we had water all over our floors. And thank God the floors hadn't went in yet so we could see that water was still coming in. Otherwise it would have just went underneath the floor and the same thing would have happened. But we realized that we had stucco cracking on the outside of our house so we had to also have someone come and fix the outside of our house. Yeah. And then we also have an air purifier that we've had downstairs running pretty much since we found out that we had the mold just to clean as much air as possible. So that's pretty much the the info, the why we had to do all this. And I will show you guys the downstairs and what it looks like now. Okay, so where I'm standing right now is right at our front door. So when you walk in, you have a living room area and then a dining room area. Um, and we got all of these floors ripped out. Now this was all just carpet before. The, the hardwood flooring didn't come into here, but we figured if we were gonna do the flooring, and we knew eventually we'd want hardwood flooring in here anyway, we might as well rip it out and do all of it the same. Um, now as far as the renovations, those are all done, but decorations, not 100% yet. Like we still know that we want a rug in here. Um, we may want a rug under there, but I also am at the point where this floor is so new and beautiful that I don't really want to cover it up. So. The decoration process is still a work in progress, but we'll get there. This is the air purifier that we've been using. This is the Aris Air Light. It's awesome because it's touch screen, first of all, so all you have to do is slide your finger across and that adjusts the fan speed. Um, there's also a sleep mode, and then it's a smart air purifier too, so I can use this for my phone. I can turn it on and off for my phone. It also, over time, you, it collects the analytics, so we can see how the air quality has been looking in our house just in general, not just that day. And it sucks in pollen, uh, hair, dust, all sorts of particles. Um, but I wanted to show you the app real quick. This is what it looks like. So you can see here, that's how you control it. This is where you would pull up the analytics for it. And then it also connects to your Wi-Fi too. So that's how you can get it on your phone. This has just been so important to us because having the peace of mind is just so crucial right now considering we have Andy and the triplets were preemies. So not that they were born super early, but knowing that you have three babies that are born early with sensitive lungs, making sure that the air quality is clean has been very important to us. And we just wanna make sure that after having mold for so long that our air is as clean as possible. Um, anyway, I'll make sure to leave a link in my bio for that right there. Moving into here, nothing is too different except for that we turned the couch. Um, we do this every once in a while. We're, we're, this area is like super awkward to decorate because we have this wall here with an open space, we call it our window wall, but then we have like that little cubby. So I have Andy's um, rocker down there. This is where we keep the girls' toys, but in the meantime, it feels like the only thing that will fit in here is the couch. So eventually we wanna get like a couple love seats right here or recliners, I don't know. This, it's just still a work in progress. We don't love this area, but whenever we get sick of it, we move the couch. So that's why the couch is like that right now. And either way, it looks, it still looks beautiful. It's just, it's not done yet. We also painted the shiplap wall that was white, but we um, painted it like a sagey green color. And I love how that turned out. It makes a big difference. And then the biggest masterpiece is the kitchen right here. So let me turn this light on. So something that's 100% new in this whole thing that we didn't have before is the bar. This was Steve's idea. He 
um, Steve works in food and beverage, so he, as soon as he like thought about getting the kitchen redone, he knew that he wanted a beer keg and he knew exactly how to do it. It's the first time our contractor ever did something like this, but our contractor loved the idea so much that he's gonna be suggesting this to future clients. So basically that's the beer tap, and then we have a hole in the wall right here and the lines run through and our pantry is what's on the other side of this wall. So it's just been awesome. We've loved it. We're beer drinkers in this house, not wine drinkers or anything. So we've just loved this addition. Um, all of the cabinets are white shaker and then the knobs we found on Amazon and the backsplash is white herringbone and the color of the grout is called pewter. We weren't sure if we wanted to go with black or anything lighter and we went with pewter which is like a light gray and i would even say there's a little bit of tan in it too kind of like a khaki i guess and then the island you guys know we already had the island um but we extended the countertop another six inches so eventually we'll get bar stools under here um four small ones could fit or three regular sized Bar stools could fit right there, um, but we still have to get those, and obviously we still need a kitchen table, and we're hoping to get a large round table right here with at least six chairs, maybe eight. And we also are going to be putting a new light fixture here. The floors were also done in the bathroom. That's our laundry room, and this is our pantry right here. Our pantry is nothing special. This is something that I really am like desperate to organize. I haven't gotten there yet because I have triplets and I have no time, but I'll get there eventually, but that is the beer refrigerator. So right now we have a keg in it. I don't, I couldn't tell you what size keg that is. Steve could tell you, but I have no idea. I lost Steve. I don't know where he is. And then throughout the rest of the kitchen and the island, one of my favorite parts is that we actually have drawers in our island instead of just doors and their soft clothes some of you guys might be like this is so basic who cares that they're soft clothes but to me this is just such an improvement that like i'm excited about the fact that my drawers have that um and then this is it really i mean the same refrigerator the same layout but it's just new and it's fresh and it's mold free my favorite part the one thing that i was like set on was that i wanted a farmhouse sink and it's just so beautiful. I could really just look at this all day long. The thing I was most excited about was bathing Andy in that sink and I gave her her first bath just a few days ago. And then this faucet right here, this is like a, I don't know, would you call it like a gooseneck faucet? Um, this was also from Amazon. So the faucet, the handles, the sink, and the beer refrigerator. Those are all from Amazon. Um, it's a little risky ordering from Amazon because you just never really know what you're gonna get, but we made sure everything we ordered had at least a four-star review. And we actually ended up accidentally ordering two sinks and two keg refrigerators. So that was an expensive mistake, but those have already went back and everything's pretty much done now. It feels so good, it feels so fresh. And now all we have to do, which we don't, there were in no rush to finish really like getting a kitchen table. We don't really even sit at the kitchen table very often. Um, getting bar stools, some rugs, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any suggestions for this room in here, I would love to hear them. Give me all your suggestions. This room just doesn't work. I would love to have a couch here a couch here and a circle table in the middle so it really is open concept but then the back of the couch would be facing this little cubby area and we wouldn't really have access to it so i don't know if that's realistic but i don't know again if you guys have a suggestion for this room please comment below and let me know what you think i guess that's pretty much it it's super late so i'm gonna go to bed but i knew i had to film this while the girls were asleep so that i could really focus and show you guys what the new house looks like. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.